Hello, and welcome back to Mono Blade Warband Episode 3 by Angel Bencho. So, let's continue with the story of Marlena, and we are now at day 16, it's 1.37 am. And I finally found my list of companions that I wanted, I had in my own files. So, I'll just get rid of all the ones I don't want. So, let me just see here, yeah, I do not want Wolf. So, but I'm gonna, I need them for, um, for this thing. After that, I will, uh, I'll get rid of them. Let me just see, do I need, um, Catherine? Uh, no, I do not need her, according to my list, no, nope. so I'll get rid of her. Uh, actually, I'll just take all your shit and leave you naked, and... Nah, I'll, I'll feel bad about that, but I might leave you... Yeah, you know what, you can take that, because then I can always get it back, right? Yeah, you can take that, babe. And you can take that thing, and you can take... Well, I don't want you to fight me, though, so I'm going to take your weapon. And you know what, we'll, we'll, we'll see each other, baby. Yeah, you know what? Um... Bye. So. So I want this back, you know. I don't like it. I don't like it. Fuck it, I'll buy it back. I don't give a shit if it costs a lot. Oh no, no. I'm gonna keep you. Wait, what? Yeah, I need this. Um, so who can who can who can wear this? Manit, you look like a bitch. No, you look like a great guy. Come on, I need one of you bitches to wear it. Well, you get to wear it. You you always talk about being noble. Lion buddy. Look at this thing. There we go. Happy now? And uh, Borja, uh, no, 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 not you. Man, I don't need this guy either. You said I don't need this guy either. Yeah, you know, nah, just keep that guy. Alright, um, let's continue. Let's go over to, uh, oh yeah, I remember. Uh, Kubo, had, I, I, I used to always buy iron for them. I think I made like, what was it, 500, 600k in this game. Um, where I then took um, Drim. It's always fun to take Drim when it's... It's usually always poor, but it's fun to take it when it's very poor and then get it up to very rich. And stuff like 2k troops in there. Anyway, do, do, do you see that fortress up there on the spur over the valley? Ismirala? I spent a winter there some years back trying to train some, to, trying to train the Lord's men. Tell me more. I say trying, because in my opinion, Vagius don't take very well to, don't take well to discipline. Finest archers you ever saw, and good riders too, but they have no stuff. <coughs> Shall we? I'm gonna try to cut that out. I'm gonna try this again. Sorry about that. I say trying, because in my opinion, Vegas don't take well to discipline. Finest archers you ever saw, and good riders too, but they have no stomach for fighting in wanks. Their skills serve them well enough against Kirkits and Norse, particularly when they can hide behind walls, but Selenis can match them arrow for arrow, and I've seen Swedian knights cut through Vegas like a knife through butter. Now, a Warlock spear wall is designed to stop a Swedian char charge in his tracks, and usually does. Why don't you mention that? That's off topic. And I don't think they, they, the archers are as good uh, arrow for arrow. I mean, yeah, they have a lot of master archers that can shoot fast, magic, master guard archers, but Vegas are way better. If anyone were ever to unify this little land of ours, I'd sign up to serve them, free of charge. I'd put together an army of Vortex Spears with North Footmen on the, on the flanks, and Vegas archers in front. Take along some crooked scouts to find and fix the enemy, and some Swedian lancers and Mam Mamluks to finish them off. I'd take that army over mountains and make the whole world kne kneel to Calvadia. Of course, that's what the emperors thought. In the end, the tribes took away the empire. So basically, just tells us what we, what we should use. But you should have North footmen in the middle and the uh, spears in the flanks, right? Because that's usually where cavalry is. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's get over here. And then I think we're going to go to the Vortex and fight. Madam, just so you know my opinion, any comment of his sense will not let this company run out of food. I hope you don't mind me speaking so funny. God damn it, I don't want that to happen ever. I wanted to avoid those messages, see if I could do a game about getting them. God damn it. I swear, that's actually a tough challenge for you. Try you try, you try and make a new game and not get that goddamn message. Or like run out of food once. 
but of course it's possible. You just have to be disciplined and all that. But I, I, I wish I knew how, how, how much my guys would eat. I actually don't know how it works about how horses, much the horses eat and so on. I'm not. I'm really not sure. Okay, that won't happen again. Now I'll get my food. There we go. <laughs> so let's get over to um. Hold on, hold on. We need to check our guys. Crazy. I want her. Hello there. From the look of you, I'd say you're expecting to get into some fights in the near future. Are you by any chance looking for some help? On your own business, loss. Ah, sounds like um. The girl was just in the way. I could be. What's your story? Well, madam, as long as I can remember, I've had a weakness for pretty things, and this got me into trouble, you see. Yeah, your feet, I know. You're like Vulture 101 of the female Vulture. I grew up in Melayur Castle as a bonded servant, working alongside my mother in the kitchens. I would, I would amuse myself by hunting mice through the pantries and sculleries. I was so good at it that I put the castle cats out of a job. Out of a job. And eventually the Lord realized that I might also be employed to track down bigger game. Uncertain awareness of a type, perhaps better left unsaid. Needless to say, I found a number of opportunities to avail myself of, tri of trinkets that had formerly belonged to my Lord's enemies. So I was able to buy myself out of bondage and find hire as a free agent. My last job was here in Waverden. Oh, maybe she's always here in Waverden then. Unfortunately, my last input... Or maybe she never moves, actually, if you haven't... She probably only moves after you've hired her and then got rid of her, or maybe she is just always here, even after you fired her or she left by herself. Anyway, unfortunately, my last employer's wife had a lovely amulet of a kind I simply could not resist. She doesn't know it's missing yet, but she might soon. So tell me, are you looking for helpers? So last year, you sound like you might be trouble. I might be, what can you do? Well, madam, let me tell you, I may not know how to read and write, but I know the quickest way to a man's heart is between his fourth and fifth whip, if you understand me. I don't. I can throw knives in addition to stabbing with them, and I'm slippery as quicksilver. You'll find me useful in a fight, I'll warrant. To be honest, I prefer someone who's a little less tempted to lawancy. To lawancy. To, to la -sany. It sounds like you can do a job, I will hire you. Well, that's good news, Captain. So how about paying me a little something to seal off our agreement? A mere 200 would be enough. Please don't take this the wrong way, but I had some bad luck with employers in the past. Sure. We need bastards all of you. You know, let's go. Oh, yeah, that's a hard place. You know, it's like a fucking badass, man. Let's go help this farmer. Madam, you look like a lady of a sword and someone who could help us. Will you hear my plea? What are you rambling about, peasant? Speak up. What is the matter, my good man? I like this one. A band of brigands have taken refuge in our village. They take everything we have, force us to serve them, and do us much evil. If one of us so much as please a word of protest, they kill a poor soul and spot right away. Our lives have become unbearable. I wish my skin and went away to find someone who can help us. Why don't you go to the lord of your village? He should take care of a woman. I did, madam. But our lord's men did not let me see him, and said he was occupied with more important matters, but that we should deal with our own problems ourselves. Please, madam, you look like a lady of valor and a fearsome warrior, and you have no doubt many friends and soldiers at your service. If there's anyone who can help us, it's you. Uh, why would I fight these bandits? What's in it for me? We are, we are but poor farmers, madam, and the bandits have already got most of what we have on this world. We will be glad to share with you whatever we have got. We will always be in your gratitude if you help us. Oh, so you will only share it with us. You won't give us everything you have. Well, okay. Well, well, I'll help you. Where is this village? God bless you, madam. Our village, our village is Ayike. It is not too far from here. Sweet. Thank you very much, madam. Cross those bandits. Yes. Certainly will. So it's right here, right? Yes. Go do it. Fuck them up. Fuck them up, boys. Um, yeah, I think these are the guys I need. Ah, only 20. Should be easy. But what if I lose? 
Then I think I failed the mission. I mean, yeah, obviously, but I mean, what if I um, get knocked the fuck out? I think I need to run away. Okay, my guys are doing well. Wish I could rename them actually. Oh shit. I really need my 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 melee weapons so I can get close to them and they will stop. Come on, I need at least one kill. There we go. Okay, nice. Missionary horseman, slave driver. Oh, that is that a blunt weapon? Doesn't look like it. Maybe it's only blunt if it, when you use one side of it, but not when he snaps. Who knows? A lot of crooked horsemen. In a battle worth your song, you and your men drive the bandits out of the village, making it safe once more. The villagers have little left in the way of wealth after their deal, but they offer you all they can find. Take it as you do, refuse, stating that they need these items more than you do. Yes, you need them more than I do. Alright. Let's continue. Uh, let's get to Dream. Captain, I'm wary of a lion who talks of nothing but jewelry and feats of arms. Val valorous deeds are all very well, but they are not the only goals worth pursuing in life. Personally, I never trust any man who has not at least once woken up drunk in a ditch or been beaten by the slipper of the lover. Lisa is a fucking idiot. Oh, this is cheap food. Anyone up here? I do often like to do a few quests just for the roleplay of it, you know, do an ale bullshit or do some caravan bullshit. I like, it's more like, it's nice that you can do the missions, rather than that you actually do them. You know, it's kind of nice that you can, but it's not really anyone who's going to do them. Oh, bitch. Give me you. I want you. See, it's gonna take forever to get them. God damn it, you talk all the time. The roots of Illada, bah, this place is thick with bandits and outlaws. Well, you see, the king of Svadia well, you see, the king of Swadia declared this to be his personal hunting preserve, and said he'd kill any man who has who has much as strong his bow here. So what happens? Some family goes hungry and succumbs to the temptation to poach, and the king Shirak comes along and strings him up and takes his land. His sons, rather than staff, go bandit, and so naturally anyone in the whole valley who feels the need to run away from a debt or a nagging wife or eventual noble comes over here to join them, living on wild pigs and berries and the purses of, purses, of, purses of unwary travelers. How do I know this, you ask? Well, I was taken by them and held for ransom, but I got away. That's, all, that's really all there is to tell. I, th I thought that you should have told that when around here, not over here. I doubt this is a person on the ground. I think it's usually over here. They either here or here. Maybe also here, but I, I heard about here, I think. Especially here. Also here and there, I think. Over here, not so much. It's probably because we heard something over there, maybe. Maybe there has to be a delay between... How often you hear bullshit? I don't think so. God damn it, we have depths now. Captain, you should not let it bother you that you have not been able to pay for rent. Armies are made to do their leader's bidding, and how she's a, a part of a soldier's life. Yeah, but I, I disagree about that. I should definitely be able to pay them. But I will, I will, I will pay you. I'll fucking triple your pay in a second, guys. Don't be mad. I wish I could pay them more after I finally get money. This doesn't feel good. This is a traveler, right? No, book merchant. No, I'm not going to. Oh, I don't need any of that. See if we can get some bandits over here. Usually there's not too many though. <laughs> no 
Okay, this should be good. I expect we can get five an hour for this. Okay, only four. Oh fuck, I forgot. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. There's a bag over here, right? Alright guys, go! Oh fuck, good thing I didn't kill him. I don't want to kill any. We did it. Oh shit, we lost a lot. But uh, well, it went okay. Yeah, that's okay. Wait. I don't know what's what more, more worth here. Ooh. Ooh, I like that. I like that. I'm gonna keep that. You almost, you almost want to take this thing before this. Always go um before you go vertical. Beg your pardon, ma'am. Butcher might have been a very good thief, but he's not got the stomach to be a warrior, if you ask me. After our last scrap, I was slicing open the guts of some of our foes to check for hidden gold. As a girl who counts her pennies odd, he gagged the mother that I was an animal. I'll, I'll inspect his innards for contraband if he doesn't keep a civil tongue in this head. Ah. <sighs> Well, I really like Borcha, he's my dude, but I'm not going to keep Borcha, I'm going to keep her, so i got to do a smart thing. Sorry, Borcha. I need to go and sell my guys if I can. God damn it. Excuse me, I hope you don't mind me telling you that, in my opinion, that girl Cleese is a danger to her party. She's a failed brat, disrespectful of her authority and the basic principles of a military art. What's more, I suspect she's a thief. I found her going through my baggage and pouring some of my schematics, and she pulled a knife on me when I th fit to object. A vice captain will not allow her in this company. I agree, but uh... Oh shit, I actually didn't want to do that. I want to tell him to shut the fuck out, actually. Because I need, I need her. Oh no, 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 I, I need this. I also need that and that one, actually. What are you looking at? But belligerent drunk. What are you looking at? I'm not sure some sort of enemy. Excuse me. Please accept my apologies. What well, doesn't say why? Who do you know who I am? I'm not good enough. Please accept my apologies. I'm sorry. I like this smoke right off your face, dude. I just apologize. Wait, I don't have any fucking weapons. Oh, there we go. Fuck you, dude. Such a fucking waste. Go fuck yourself. I want this to get to a hundred. Anyway, let's get rid of that thing. Right, it's not. It's not bad. Oh, fi fine. I'll get. No, no. I still need my guy. Once my guys are back, then I can do it. Can, can I ask you to go? Um. Yes, I heard. But he doesn't like me, or it's just because. Oh, I can already send them on their way. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, really? Well, I'm not just going to wait around here. I'm going to go to the towns to look for the work. Wait, wait, no, what? I suppose you know that I aspire to be queen of the land. That would be a fine thing, my lady. Many is the tale of a hero who has proven his worthiness to wear a crown through valor. Perhaps you know the song of Enteran, son of Ashtap, 
involves some obsc obscurity to become king of the the bow the bow -aha. a splendid tale. Of course, my lady. Also, as we learn from the tale of Antaran, the claiming a throne is not hurt to be the subject of an epic recited around campfires and uh, hearthfires describing one's deeds. I should no doubt no. I fancy myself a fair quest of couplets. Why, yes, you are. Then give me leave for a few weeks, O Gallan one, and I will spin such a tale as would stir even my dullest heart, inspiring admiration for your virtues, compassion for your hardships, and indignation as those who would stand in your way. I assume, of course, that I would be able to take a certain amount of poetic license. With these says, yeah, we could do that. Fuck off. So, um. I just need these guys to, to do their shit and then they can be on their way for all I care. I'm not gonna need you either. I'm not gonna need him either. I'm gonna give my guys here um, some of these. Requires eleven. Um, let's just set it. Why for one six two? That sounds. That doesn't sound bad. Wait, was there anything else? Dude, I need one of the ransom brokers. Um, that sucks. Get over there again. It's just a lot too. Hmm. There we go. Ah, okay, that cost the same. Going into slay away. What my money here? Mm. Mm. That's not bad. This one's not bad either. Neither is that, that one. I'll just get, I'll just go get them, get them a shield here. It'll be a bit difficult for them to hit on horseback, though, of course. Your shield. And let's get your shield. Make them stronger and better. And let's get them a horse too. This one is lame, that's good, then we can heal it up. Let's go get some more fights over here. Let's just save for a second. Alright. We need some more fights here. This is not enough fighting for us. Nice, he leveled up. Actually, he's the one I wanted with uh, this guy. Eh, whatever, he can. No, I wanted to have that one. Let's 
kill the, these, get these guys. Alright, let's go. 25 against 25. Not so good for mountains here for me. I have two lances right there, right? Yeah. They're, very good. They're actually better than Triggered Witcher and Horse Archers, it's, which is kind of silly. If I remember in the last episode we saw that Kirk and Horse Archers are like level 30, 14. I think 7 levels more, I think they're 21. So they're still lower level than the Lancers who's 23, right? Yeah. I have to make sure I don't get gangbanged right here. But I, st I see a lot of love outside there. Wow, slaughter. Slaughter, holy shit. Skirmishes, that's fine. And got two of them. Great, yes, I'll give a manhunter. Ooh, nice shield, I'll take that one. Reinforced wooden shield. Resistance 5. Resistance is the amount of damage it it like neglects. So let's say this seal has 443 HP. So let's say someone does 50 damage to it. And because of the resistance is 5, it actually only loses 45 hit points rather than 50. Resistance, resistance is very important. And more topic. Yes. Oi, boss. I don't fancy myself a sensitive, a sensitive soul. But I particularly, but I don't particularly like how Cliff went about cutting the throat of the enemy wounded back there. But when she whistles cheerfully as she does it, it puts a chill down my spine. It does. Yeah, you have my support. I don't want you to leave yet, bitch. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, Captain, just so you know, there's something funny about Artimena. He makes strange scrawlings in my dirt and mutters to himself. Fearing witchcraft, I asked him about it, and he told me that's a chit of a girl like myself. And he told me that a chit of a girl like myself should mind her own business. So I had a look in his baggage, and I found strange plans and diagrams. I think he's a source of them, madam. And if I catch him trying to hex me, he'll have a knife in his throat. Dude, I have to support him here, because I don't want him to leave. I need him to give my good shit. Maybe it works if they leave and I find them later. Then I can do that white, for white tribal thing. But I don't want all my good guys to leave, ever. That I need, though. Actually, let's, uh, let's go sell these again. I really need this thing to level, I need to level my shit up here. Uh, should I do that now? Yes. You'll get these sold too. Miss, we have two weeks of money, right? Yes, we'll help you. Oh, damn it, did they leave already? For fuck's sake, why did they leave already? Wooldy, where is that? There we go. Judge! More lances. Lay driver. How good are these, um... Manhunters? They're level 10, but they absolutely suck. But they do have a morning star, it looks like. How about the slave drivers? Wow, what the fuck? Is that because they are always using blunt weapons or something? Like what the fuck? Come on, these guys don't have anything either? That is so weird. Well, these guys look fairly tough though. A good armor at least, so... Yes, we can take them. I cannot really take prisoners here though, so yeah, it doesn't really matter. Kill the peasant! Oh, damn it. At least he was only wounded.
Oh. Take him down. There we go. Nice. I'm hoping it was only a farmer who died. Wait, I think this is my guy. Oh shit, that's a crooked horseman who died then. Yeah, fuck. No, 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 you keep it. Oh, oh shit. See, this mercenary horseman? Hold on, where do you have... Um... I don't have more uh, caravan guards. These were my caravan guards. They both leveled up. Both of them. Both of them. Wait, I had three, right? Yeah, I think I lost one back back when we did that mission at the hideout. But this guy made it. Wow. And now Mercenary Calvary. Look at this guy. Holy shit! Look at that fucking crap. 68. Look at that badass armor. It's like chainmail and then a leather cursor or whatever it's called on top of it. Like very hard leather. Hardened leather. I mean, I feel the stats are low, but compared to everyone else, it's actually pretty high stats. High health, high that. This guy's tough. Fucking badass, motherfucker. What level is he? 25, oh yeah. You what? That guy's awesome, look at the horse, holy fucking shit. What is, what is his um, riding for? Five, wow! Wait. What the hell do they have? Like, really, they, they shouldn't really give, give him provinces in, in archery if they don't need it. Okay, maybe he, he did use it once, but then... I don't know, give them a story behind it, it doesn't make sense. It's not reliant enough to only fight two places. I'll have two cities to have a ransom program. I feel. Sort of won that one. I mean, uh, you must have a penalty if it's one-handed, right? I think there's some penalties then. I think it's awesome though. I'm gonna save that. Fight and maybe go to Swadia. He leveled up as well. And Morgan. Well, Molina Bahadur, at least I at last I found you. Well, okay, good. Can we send some more out? I think you can send one out each every third day or something. Well, Captain, I support you. I think you'd give Caroidia a kind of enlightened rule which it has long needed. Most of the lords of this land, well, let's just say that they never held a dinar that they didn't collect as rent or take as pillage. You, on the other hand, have some experience of commerce and trade, of the effort and risk involved in making sure that men don't go hungry in Sarov while there's a lot of grain in Praven, to give an example. If you like, Ketchin, I reckon I could find some support for you among the merchants and workers of this realm. I don't know, ask for the support, as they would no doubt wish to make a profit on the transaction. Of course they would. If you like, Ketchin, I can take a few weeks to visit the guild halls and caravan series where I have contacts. And explain to them that in you they will have a ruler who will check the rapacious nobles who with their terrorists and taxes would strangle commerce for the sake of a few extra dinars to spend on their wars and their fee feasts. What do you say to that, Captain? Yes, you know that. Awesome. Oh, there's a hideout over there. Good thing he didn't join me, that's nice. I do look like a Kirkland Horseman except for my helmet, that's like a Swedian footman. Uh, maybe I should actually save all my strong guy here. Yeah, I should do that. I'm gonna make a new group where I can save all my lances and these guys. Because I don't want to lose my good horseman and so on. He's over there, right? No. At least I don't want to send them in first. I want to send my companions in first. Though sending them in first might be a suicide. And they're too weak.
Dead whiskey. Oh wow, he tried to get away. Did not work. Nice. We didn't lose any and we got five wounded. Oh nice. Still lame though. Captain, I was just having a word with Lasalit after our last battle, and it strikes me that the man has got a good head on his shoulders. War, like any other affair, requires careful planning and preparation, and a firm grasp of tact of strategic principles. All other things being equal, the best trained army will win the battle, an observation that I think our last fight bears out. The men may curse him now, but they learn to thank him. I won't. Very good. I like that those guys like each other. It's kind of cool. So, more guys here. I don't want to take the hideout out. Let's take him. Oh, those guys are tough. You try and take him though? Oi Captain, I can hear that man is going off to sing a pretty song to the merchants on how you'll hand them Calvadia on a silver platter for them to feast upon. Smack their lips and suck the marrow from their bones. I hope that's just a tale you're telling. A noble lord will at least toss a few covers to the poor when he holds his feast. And will make sure that the servants go home with full bellies. A merchant marries his daughter and you'd be lucky to get a few crusts and scraps of gristle from the table. That's my experience anyway. Of course I will. And I don't want to get sad. See, I need to get rid, rid of Marnie as soon as he's back. I wish you could hire them. This is going to be tough. Okay, I need to organize my guys after this. Hold on, you can all go. Oh, I only have a bodyguard in Cali apparently. Okay, interesting. Let's just go then. Actually, actually, hold on. Holy fucking shit, they are precise. Ah, oh, just go, just go all in. I just wanted, maybe I could save my horses. So they timed with my, my bodyguard and then they could Knock them out and consider them as slaves. Come on, stop them from shooting, that's the most important thing. Oh shit, I'm so fucked, man, they're all going for me. Come on, why are you going for me? This is risky. I'm gonna take a chance, I want to knock one out. Fuck it, I didn't get to do it. Come on, come on, come on, no, 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 no. I got it, I, I got him, I got him, I got him. Yes! Awesome! Wow, we wounded six of them? Sweet! Heck yeah, baby! Excellent! And more of talking, yes! This is probably about Atimena, yeah, yeah, yeah. Captain, it is a pleasure going into battle with men like Atimena by my side. He's a professional soldier, and though he may not he is fast on his feet as some others. He knows the wisdom of holding together in a disciplined battle line. You showed good sense in bringing him into the company. Shut your mouth. Let's continue here. So those guys over there. Nooks Hull. Ah, to Shabby. Nice. Welcome aboard, girl. Yes, keep your distance, by the way. Right, I'm not bothered then. Ah, my apologies. I was merely going to say you look a bit on. You look a bit down your own luck. My luck? You could say that. It was my bad luck to be born to a weak father who married me off to a drunken layabout who beat me. It was my bad luck when I ran away from my husband to be taken by a group of bandits. It was my bad luck that the only one among them who was kind to me, who taught me to hunt and to fight, inspired the jealousy of the others, who knifed him and forced me to run away again. But I do not count myself unlucky, stranger. No more than any other woman of Calvadia. This fitted backwater, this dung heap among the nations, populated by apes and jackals. Actually, I'm well fun of a place. Good day to you. Hmm, are you by any chance looking for work? I might be. Could certainly use some money. But let your followers know that I do not suffer louts or brutes. Uh, I not some brutes. Anyone who misbehaves around me will quickly find an error in their gullet. Actually, on second thought, you sound like you might be trouble. Good day to you. I'll hire you. Try not to shoot anyone your first day. Yeah, that's a good way. Let's see, that's a good way to say it in a light. Headed, but not like, you know, like in a fun way, without 
and too serious, but still giving the point out there. But she might not have taken it too serious. But yeah, you know, it was kind of good. I mean, yeah, I like that the way we handle it there. What we said there. Money, 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 money. Oh, they're kind of expensive. I'll buy one. Ooh. Oh, that looks good on us. Actually, I don't want to try before I can buy it. It feels a bit cheap, but it's kind of fun. It's like shopping when you can't afford it. Look how cool this would look. Oh, that doesn't look so good, but... Yeah, it looks a bit off, but you know. I should get some better. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I'm gonna wait for him. I need to check uh, what I'm gonna upgrade it to. I'm actually not sure right now. Oh, let's see what we got here. Figured we're turning a horse at you. Yeah, I like this armor, it looks cool. 130, okay. A decent edit. It's not really all that good to be honest. Put over here. Sometimes they're up here, it's not always. Oh wait, oh my. Some oil. If you try to win this tournament, pray and check out when it's there. Oh, fuck's sake. Pardon me, Captain. How could you be able to pay your man your first duty to win this thing? The first duty is to... Pardon me, Captain. It is not good to have... Wait, pardon me, Captain. It is not good to not be able to pay your man. The first duty is to a man who have taken your salt. At least they can expect his food, pay the opportunity to loot, and they... You not waste their lives needlessly. Yeah, fuck. Man, the upkeep is insane on these ones. For me now. Try to be a horse archer type. Well, but if they're not down there, yeah, you should not up here because this is down there. The space is the first taking this. This up here is later. Also, it would be annoying to have to check up here over time, so yeah, there's no one. Okay, let's just uh, take them here. I need, to level, I need to get some more experience. I'm really lacking in experience right now. I 
sent Melina's buddy guy in. All, all of, just all of them. Hold on. Maybe not so fast, dude. And right, now you can always go. God damn it. I mean, look at this. And more talk, of course. That's the problem with having so many. Captain, I've been searching my mind trying to remember where I've seen Wolf, the one who calls himself a Baron. As I watched him in action during the last battle, I suddenly remembered. He's a good fighter, but also a vicious one. Back when I lived in the Bavari Bavarians, we would sometimes fight with a wild band called the Brethren of the Woods. Captain, I would not trust any man who hides his origins, and particularly would not trust a common bandit who calls himself a Lord. I agree. He's still here. No, he's not. God damn it. Fuck sake. Oh, the Shabby. I need you to get some horse riding here. I need you to get some archery too. I should probably put you into 12. Oh, okay, let's get that up. Riding. Watch me. Captain, no offense, but I'm a bit tired of the Shavi who puts on airs like she's something better than your humble servant Borcha. You can't band it just like myself, and she has no right to tell me to keep my distance from her as she did just now. I agree. God damn, they talk so much. <laughs> it's really. They put your patience and like, shut the fuck up. Like, all my other shoulders, they don't talk bitch like these guys do. Let's fight just my bodyguard this time. I'm probably gonna get fucked up though because I have no shields. I don't really need them either, but I just would like them to have some experience. I mean, I could beat these all alone if I just kept running around until they were out of ammo. That way I could get a lot of experience and fast also. Some manhunters here, huh? Madam, I happen to exchange a few words with the Shavi as we were dividing up a spoils of battle. Please inform her that when she speaks to me, you should call me Baron or perhaps Baron Wolf, or your grace, but certainly not just Wolf. I'm of no blood and she's of blessed birth. She must be her place. Shut up. And now she's gonna say something about him next time and so on. Until they're finally done with all that bullshit, then we don't have to heal them. Then, then they're just gonna get mad at each other, that's it. I'm gonna see if I can send more away right now. You probably don't want to. Yeah, suck. Also, the heavens have instituted a heresy, a hierarchy. <laughs> Not heresy, hierarchy. In this world, and normally I would have no truck with usurpation, but I also think that the kings of this land are 
uh, weak and sorry lot, not worthy of a name king, and that these were crowned free to be taken by a better ruler such as yourself. I would indeed, sir. I think you can unite this land and then we'll be able to raise an army such as Caradia has not seen for many generations. Threadian lances, Vagi archers, warlock spears, serenade swords, what? No. Lord axes and crooked skirmishes. We'll take it over mountains to subdue all the lands that the Caradia emperors once held. Wait. Are there lands close to Caradia who's not attached, who's still attached to this? So it's not just an island? Like, not that, yeah, like, I don't know. It's not, it's, I thought Korea was a whole world. No, probably not, just like an island. Or like a continent like Africa. Is it actually connected to more? Or like a, like a little piece of Africa is? Or is it like completely connected like Europe? Because there are some corners where Korea ends. I guess so, maybe? Wait, hold on, just say that again. Actually, I was looking forward to a bit of West Africa Queen. Huh. Let me leave for a few weeks, madam. I will let all the worthy men of this land know that you are the one to unite not just Calvadia but all the other Calvadic dominions. But according to my thinking, no one should be able to be king or queen yeah, unless they have the capa capacity to rule the entirety of a realm, and you alone have demonstrated such a capacity. Madam G. Madam G. Good. You have two. Greetings, if you have any prisoners, I'll be happy to buy them from you. Let me buy what you do again. I broke a ransom for the poor wretches who were captured in these endless wars. Normally I travel between the salt mines and the slave markets on the coast, a commission from those from those whose relatives have gone missing. But if I'm out of my errands of mercy and I come across a fellow back in the capital too, well there's no harm in a little spe speculative investment, is there? And you look like we're tired from out of a prisoner to sell. Would you be able to ransom me if I were taken? Of course, I will c I'm welcoming every cough cough in Caradia. There's not many who can say that. So always be sure to keep a pot of Dina buried somewhere and a loyal servant who can find it in a hurry. What if the families can't pay? Oh, then I spend them a few heartwarming tales of life in the galleys. You'd be surprised what sort of treasures a person can dig out of this cow shed or a wheel out of his cousins. A wheel out of his cousins. Oh, 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 we lot of his cousins, not, uh, not cushions, like pillows. I'm assuming he's got a proper motivation. And if in the end they cannot come up with the silver, then there are always slave merchants who are looking for galley slaves. One cannot do heaven's work with an empty purse, you see. What can I get for a prisoner? It varies. I fancy I have a fine eye for assessing a ransom. There are those little things about a man that will tell you whether he goes a bit hungry or dines each night on soft dumplings and goose. The real money, of course, is in the gentry. If you ever want to do my job, you want to learn about every landowning family in Caradia, their estates, their heraldry, their offspring, both lawful and bastard, and of course, their credit with merchants. That's all I need to know, thank you. Uh, then you wish, I wish to went to one of my companions. Whom do I wish to went to? No mind. Then you better bring your purse. I have got prisoners to sell. Let me see what you have. I bet I can get like 150 or so. Oh wow, 150, yeah, nice. Oh, I forgot what he said now, over. Nice, a lot of good money here. Oh, thick steel shield. Look how tough it is, holy shit. Mm, I think I'm gonna go for one-handed though. So they can have a shield too. Ooh. That looks good. I don't even get one with black there. Oh yeah, they do get it more expensive once they get a horse, don't they? No. Or maybe they do, it's just because it's so low already. Alright. Let's save here. So, I'm gonna cut it off here. So, I think we done pretty well. We are finally getting our party together. Um, slowly but surely. I should probably stop um, going around here and, and more 
and, and just go around uh, the places here. Maybe go over here again now. I can chase them actually. And maybe get rid of all my slow guys and get some more horses in here and start getting some pathfinding and getting my shit done so I can start chasing them because I can much easier get kills from these guys and chasing them alone and so on. Um, yeah. Anyway, uh, I think we did pretty good here. Um, my money is not definitely starting to come in and the prisoner thing is working out alright. I think I'm going to go for one-handed blunt weapons though. I think we'll do a bit of traveling, and very soon, maybe already, we can start taking them sea raiders. Though, I for sure will have casualties by taking them now. But uh, I'll fix the companions completely next time, and also make a group for the guys we want to save, like... These, like... Elites, so we can keep those safe. Or use them, of course. Anyway! I'll see you in episode 4, so hope you enjoyed this, and hope to see you in the next one. So take care, stay safe, and I hope you have a very nice day. Bye for now.